I've been reading through the comments to find out exactly what you would like us to ask the pros. So I'm going to do just that and hopefully try and catch a few napping too because, well, a lot of them have just arrived after a long flight. I wonder what they're going to say. What's the fastest you've ever been? Uh, on, on your bike. Yeah, it's funny you actually say that. The other day, uh, I got a 115k an hour down a climb here in uh, Stirling. Uh, what? Yeah, it's not. A, it's probably not the right road to do it. I won't say which road it is. Um, but yeah, we'd always on the way to a bunch ride here in Adelaide. We used to uh, go for that, and it just goes straight down like that. So we were pretty happy, but Mum and Dad weren't. Fastest you've ever been? 132k an hour. Yeah, Sierra Nevada, downhill. Whoa. Yeah. What was going through your mind? Nothing. Nothing, just I hope I don't crash. <laughs> <laughs> I think like 100k an hour. The annoying thing, actually, I've got a story about this. So I've never seen 100k an hour on my, uh, my computer before. Last year in Torino, we were going down a descent and I hit 100k an hour. And then about 10k's later, my, uh, my Garmin fell off the bike. So I never actually got to record it. You can't prove it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get this, Blythe, 132k an hour. Um, I reckon he might be telling some fibs there, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I remember 106, 7, somewhere in California in yeah. some races, yeah. Big roads, pretty. Wide open roads, right? Yeah. yeah no oh, um, uh, over 100 something. Uh, Tour of Swiss, I think, on a decent Tour of Swiss somewhere. That's, that's a popular place, the Tour of yeah, Swiss. Yeah, Tour of Swiss, one of those big ones. Um, don't know what it was, but. Uh, I do also remember one time looking down over the edge into a Swiss and actually just thinking about all the consequences yeah. and that's not a good, never a good idea. No. So most of the time you feel pretty comfortable even at that speed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, you don't want to start thinking about what could happen. Yeah, that's right. You'd rather just follow the bunch. Yeah, no. Just, we, just get on with and, it. And once you start thinking that, then yeah. the rest of that descent's over. So. Oh, I always get asked that question, but I'm never really looking down to check. I, I, I've asked this question, answered this question before. It's probably about, it's over 100. I think it was like 109. And it was in the Tour of Britain. Really? I wish I knew where it was, but there was like these, those hills. That were, it was really safe because you could see the other side of the hill. Yeah. I think that's the key. Yeah. If you can see where you're going, you can just let the brakes go. Yeah. And we were fanging down there. Like, <laughs> I mean, and you're like, oh yeah, we're going quick. And then like, it was so steep that you only really got like, you're like, I'm just going to go like airborne off the next hill. Halfway up, and I was like, oh, shit, kill Steve Az. <laughs> hmm, good question. Two times stand out for me. Uh, the 2012 Tour of Colorado, we went down Independence Pass, and we hit 121 Ks an hour. We're going in a straight line. The whole peloton, after this sort of like big long straight dip, actually all calmed down a lot, and we all sort of looked at each other and said, what are we doing? You know, like <laughs> this is like, we're in a non-important part of the stage. We just went over 120k and if one of us clipped it, we're all dead. Uh, and the second time, which was probably even scarier, was I clocked 123 in a tour of Austria coming down. I forget the name of the climb, but um, yeah, I hit 123 and Matej Mahoric came past me like a steam train. <laughs> So we, we were all talking about it that night and I never actually asked Ma uh, Mahodic actually what his final top speed was, but he was on the top tube and we were all just like freaking out. Couldn't believe what happened. So yeah, 123 is my max, but it's not the fastest I've seen. So there we are, the answers of the pros. Let me know though exactly what you would answer to those questions down there in the comment section below because you're going to have a lot more time to think about your answer than I gave them. Also remember to like and share this video with your friends. Give it a big old thumbs up down there below. And also don't forget to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. We've got a whole heap of goodies for you to check out. And now for another great video, click just down here. And me, I'm going to go and put on some more sun cream.